Okay, friends, so today we're gonna do another round of neighborhood tours. Today we are in Willow Park. We're gonna be looking at some different price points, starting in the mid 300s, all the way up to a little over $800,000, all in Willow Park. Now, as a reminder, Willow Park is in Alito ISD. Actually, most of it is. There's a little bit of it that is in Weatherford ISD. So if that's important to you, double check each home you're looking at. But today we're actually getting started in the district, which is the newest commercial development here in Willow Park. And it's really great. There's a new butcher shop that has a cafe with some great food. I had lunch there yesterday. I'll probably stop and get lunch again today when I'm done here. There's Melt, the ice cream shop over here. A couple other retailers are going in. They're not quite done with construction. Some of these units are still being finished out. But then one of the really cool things, it might be kind of loud, but there's a stage set up here for live music performances. And Pat Green is actually gonna be here next month. Now, unfortunately, it is not a public event. You cannot buy tickets publicly. It is for a nonprofit fundraiser, but gonna be really cool. It's gonna be a great event to kind of get this space kicked off here in Willow Park. Now, like I said, this is one of the newer commercial developments. A lot of you know good restaurants going in, businesses will be housed here, and live music will be going on. And this is all Willow Park specifically, and that's a small city right next to Hudson Oaks, north of I-20 for the most part, kind of west of Alito and obviously east of Weatherford. So, Willow Park's a really cool, small town feel to it. We're gonna get started and we're gonna take a tour of three different neighborhoods and we're gonna include some information and some shots of Squaw Creek Golf Course. So, stick around, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have questions. Now, if this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Alito, Texas, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you can be kept up to date with everything that's going on in the Alito area. My name's Jared with Living in Alito, Texas, and I get calls and texts all the time from people just like yourself who are thinking about moving to the Alito area, and I love it. So whether you're thinking about moving next week or next year, all my contact information is in the description box below. Reach out however you're most comfortable and I'm looking forward to helping you make a smooth move to the Lido area. Okay guys, well today we are getting started by taking a look at Stagecoach Estates here in Willow Park. It is a smaller community in the area. You know, homes built in the early 2000s, so the one we're looking at was actually a 2007 build. And this is one of the neighborhoods that has like a community pool and a playground, you know, a basketball court, so you'll get to see that. And then it does have an HOA, so it's about 600 bucks a year, which is like, 50 bucks a month, obviously, that's how the math works out. But I wanna just touch on and point out one of the homes here that really kinda highlights what you can get. So 235 Carriage Drive, it is just over 1,700 square feet, priced at 365. So you can still get good, solid homes for under $400,000 in the Alito area, the Alito School District in Willow Park. So this home has granite countertops, it has hard floors throughout, it has an upgraded master bath, big, nice walk-in shower. So if you are trying to get out to the Lido area, you want a nice brick home, three bed, two bath. You can get upgraded homes in residential neighborhoods for under $400,000 if you're looking for something like this. Now, you're not gonna get an acre. We are gonna look at something like that in a little bit, but that's gonna be a different price point. So if you're looking for something under 400, Stagecoach Estates is a neighborhood that might be worth looking at in the Willow Park area.
Okay, neighborhood number two has actually been in a video before when I was talking about some of the best new construction neighborhoods. It got an honorable mention, but we're at in the reserves at Trinity. So 716 West Jockey is a great property. It's a 2020 build. And now if you're looking for something larger than what we just looked at, so you want maybe closer to 3,000 square feet, your budget's a little higher, you want something newer, and you're looking in the 600 plus or minus range, this home's 3,400 square feet. Again, $600,000 is the list price. And that's gonna be somewhat comparable across this neighborhood. So plus or minus 3,000 square feet. And again, this one is actually a Clarity home, probably one of the first in the neighborhood to sell. Again, it's a 2020 construction, great home. I mean, super updated. You got quartz, you got granite, you got nice floors, you got, it's a four bed, three bath. And this neighborhood does have an amenity center with a pool, has an indoor like kitchen, pool table, like hangout area. And then it even has basketball courts as well. So your HOA is gonna be like 750 a year, 50, 60 bucks a month, something like that. Great neighborhood, it's like really close to the highway, but also fairly secluded. So this home is on a cul-de-sac. And one of the highlights of this neighborhood is there's like eight cul-de-sacs in the neighborhood. There's like one through street and a four cul-de-sacs on each side of that. So like eight cul-de-sacs. There is still new construction homes. I'm walking past one of them right here. This is a windmiller custom homes. And you say, well, what do you mean custom? It's already built. A lot of the builders put that in their name. They might offer some customization if you uh, build from the ground up, but they also build spec homes. Again, I have a video about what you need to know if you're looking at new construction homes or working with builders. You can hear the music playing. Over here, you have a home right over here that is, you know, the bricks halfway up. Again, new construction still going on, but there are homes old enough that people are having to move. Jobs, kids, whatever. Right now in this market, you can sometimes get a pretty good deal on these resale homes, homes that are not brand new because they can't sell them for the same price that the new construction is going for. So thanks for checking this one out and let's go check out another neighborhood at a slightly higher price point. Okay, I wanted to finish up this tour of the Willow Park area by looking at something on the higher end of what you can expect to find out here. It's so one of the Squaw Creek neighborhoods. This home does back up to Squaw Creek Golf Course. And one of the cool things about the, these older neighborhoods that have the, you know, heavily treed is that you will see tons and tons of deer. So I saw four deer, which was not very many. And there's actually two deer right over here in this yard right here to my side. We're at 713 Squaw Creek Road. Now this is kind of a thoroughfare, like you're on that kind of a busier street. This isn't like a major thoroughfare. There's actually a showing going on at the house. Right now I can see them in the backyard. So this home is priced at $825,000. It is 3,400 square feet and it's like totally renovated. You know, it looks like almost everything's been upgraded. It has a pool, it has this giant pergola and it's kind of got a mid-century modern vibe to it. And while you do back up to the golf course property, you don't actually like have a, a good view of the golf course. You actually back up to a retention pond that Will Park uses and you're gonna see that. So you back up to the golf course property, you don't really see much of the golf course. You don't have like a, a greenway or a, a, any, a fairway, anything like that, that is behind your yard. But it is on over an acre, it is on a well. And again, just over 800. So Willow Park, Alito ISD area, and you got that 800 plus or minus price range, you can get a home on an acre that has been upgraded in that 3,000 square feet plus or minus. Most of these homes are a little bit older, probably like 70s, 80s, which is what this one is. But lots of different options, lots of different styles. A lot of these homes are a good bit more unique than you're gonna find in those newer neighborhoods like we just looked at.
Okay, so I ended up back at the district for lunch. Again, I had stopped at the local butcher shop, so the district butcher. Stopped here for lunch with a friend yesterday, and I was like, this is great, I'm already in the area. Willow Park's a pretty small community, let's just stop back by here for lunch. If you come by here, you have to try the district sandwich. It has a grilled steak on it on a sourdough roll, that's what I had yesterday. And that's not sliced steak, which is what I thought it was gonna be. It is like a full, small steak and it was super tender. I was worried that you were gonna be like tearing at the meat, trying to get it off the sandwich. Nope, it was awesome, easy to eat, super good, had some good sauce on it. If you're in the area, District Butcher's a great place to get lunch. The cafe's only open from 11 a.m. to like two or 3 p.m. So you do have to come kind of just for lunch. Now they serve locally raised beef, pork, lamb, all that stuff. So you can come in, you get some high-end, nice quality cuts of meat. That's here in Willow Park. So thank you for sticking around. If you have any questions about Willow Park specifically, or if you have questions around the Alito area as a whole, make sure you put those comments in the comment section below. Make sure you put those questions down there. And whether you're thinking about moving next week or next year, all my contact information is in the description box below. So feel free to reach out however you're most comfortable. Look forward to helping you make a smooth move to the Alito area.